Anyway. Very sweet young lass. So full of spunk and sass. Over tea. She tells me. I got no class. I ain't no crummy creep. Who lives in trash heaps. I'm just one old sea hun. Who needs some sleep. No, I do not. I know the singing annoys me too. But I just mock it. And that's and that's why I kinda have this thing on mute anyway. I listen to my music. Every time I play. I should turn it off right after we just after just as we leave the uh, original. So anyway, this is my island, Quickville Island. Look at all these coconuts here. In the tropical seas with the coconut trees. We were looking see coconut. Find a way to make a profit. Here's Flash. Tross, I gave him that expression like Pinky in the brain. So let's say hello. I'll let you have it. Because I don't need it. It doesn't look too bad on you. Anyway, here's a fun way to make a profit. Of course, you need the game by advance for this. You shake the trees. You grab the coconuts. I put them all over here. I, I gathered them all over here in this area. And then I just drag them over to the bird. And after the first three coconuts, it gives me money. Then I just put them all back in the proper place around here. And when I come back to the island, GameCube version instead of the, uh, on the GameCube instead of in the Game Boy Advance, after uploading, I collect the money. Go as high as 30,000 bells, which is very nice. Anyway, I'll show you what you can do with your house on the island. I use mine as storage for the uh, extra items I uh, don't have room for at home. Yeah, I got a bunch. Of course, uh, I got mostly wallpaper and shirts. That's why I got all these dressers. But I've gotten all the uh, carpets from Sahara. She was here yesterday. I, well, how do I know? I usually keep track. I made a special sticker with my Game Boy camera. And I just, uh, whenever I, whenever there's a holiday, or uh, when there's a special event as noted by the copper, I note it on a calendar with one of those special stickers. I write it down whether it's for Quickville or Quick City. Anyway, we're going to leave the island. See you later, Flash. Traws. For Zort. Hey, Captain. Yeah, I'm leaving. No, thank you. Oh, by the way, Sanchi's mug is the flag of the island. Obviously. Don't worry, this time I'm not gonna imitate his singing. Instead, I'll talk about something random. Sonic the Hedgehog. By the way, those two uh, characters in the tailor shop, Mabel and Sable, are they hedgehogs or porcupines? Because, I don't know, they look like hedgehogs and or porcupines, but uh, I'm not sure which are they. But either way, if they're hedgehogs, you got my vote on Sonic. Speaking of which, you should make it's Sonic Heroes it should be Nintendo GameCube exclusive because Xbox and PlayStation 2, my opinion is the same as yours. They both stink. Yeah, I do not even own them. I don't even want them. And that goes double for the PS1 as well. But if you want to know my game systems, I had my GameCube for about almost a year and a half now. Got it on May 31st, 2002. I got your SNES, Nintendo 64, NES. I got the Genesis 301 with the original Genesis, 32X, and Sega CD, as well as Sega Dreamcast, and the Sega Saturn. So I got mostly all of them. I've been a Sonic fan forever, and that's why I'm glad that Sonic came to uh, Nintendo. By the way, y'all may uh, remember that uh, 
I sent you guys a letter talking about my dream of Sonic on Game Boy. Well, you go on my website, check the uh, about the author section, you'll see Nintendo Power Magazine cover I made up just for the occasion. Anyway, welcome back to the GameCube. Let's move on with the tour, shall we? Anyway, we're gonna check the outlet. Oh, lighthouse. Oh, we look at this. There's a weed. I pick weeds. Keeps my town clean as well as uh, quick see. Oh, here's the other billboard. I do not know if I've shown you. Magic carp. That's for the fishing tourney. I drew a magic carp just for it. Yeah, that's a magic carp. I didn't have room for a Gyarados. So anyway, uh, here's a tarot shop. I got a Game Boy Advance right here as well because, you know, I can use my Game Boy Advance here. So let's go in and see what I got on display. Yeah, I mean, what are they? Hedgehogs or porcupines? Because I can't tell. Anyway, I got Sonic you, I got Sonic you right here. Oh, and by the way, this is his girlfriend. You want to know what her name is? Rose Chew. See how that's spelled? Yeah. But you'll see, you'll probably see her and her body on the, uh, letter that's included with the, uh, VHS here. So anyway, yeah, that's her favorite flower. Call it the Zap Bud. Oh, there's my Sonic you side logo. There's your corn you, uh, featured Nintendo Power. And I swiped for the Pokeball. As well as Star Fox emblem. Here, let me show you the uh, rest of my uh, patterns. Most of them I put together. There's Sonic right there. And uh, this is Sonic Chu's evil twin, Black Sonic Chu. I made up the Mario as uh, kind of like, you know, from Nintendo Power. Duh. If you guys have a shirt already in the uh, game, that's for me and no, we'll find out later. Oh, because Spider Man was in town recently, I was inspired. And hey, here's Old Glory. Let's see. Yeah, these are the uh, older patterns I uh, kind of picked up from the shirt, says watch. And these are patterns I put together myself. There's the magic harp. And there are others like you got from Nintendo Power the corn, the moon, groovy. Groovy. I call it groovy. There's the mushroom and the mug. Oh, I got something ready for Christmas. You know, you may notice the wreath back there. Let's see. Yeah, here are the uh, swiped images. Oh, by the way, you remember Tim Time Trail? That's his logo right there. I call it Time Travel. It's got his name written on there, T Tim Time Trail. Could you excuse me for a minute? I got an itch in my eye. Right. Anyway, that's taken care of. Let's see, I guess... What did I do that for? I'm putting it back. Anyway, that's uh, images I got so far. No, no thank you. We got nothing. So I'll see you all later. Or another day, somewhat. Yeah, I think that looks familiar. What Mabel's sewing up, or is that Sable? I think that's the noodle design. Anyway, moving on. Another weed. Why you know about that? I usually like to run. It keep it keeps me going faster. By the way, Puck lives here. Oh, well, you know, a hole in the ground. I usually, also usually uh, during my uh, rounds, I check for these holes, and it's an antique. And of course, if I dig up a fossil, I just quickly write a letter to the museum, and I don't have to write anything, so I just get that out of the way real quick. I'm gonna keep my shovel in hand because uh, I think there may be a few more holes around here somewhere. But look at this, another weed. Anyway, no bird today. So, but let's go see copper. See if there's anything new at the police station. Any goings on? Nothing important, huh? It's hard to catch that bird, you know, the uh, postal character, Pete. One time I tried, but then he just flew away. Anyway. You got anything in the police station today, Copper? That is, uh, anything lost? Oh, we got something? Oh, good. I'll take it. I usually just pick them up and sell it later. By the way, as for Goldberg, if he has something I have not collected yet, I usually keep it. Seeds? Oh, well, I'll take it. I can always plant those. Because they won't make much of a profit. Anyway, if uh, Gulver has gave me some that I already have, I used to just sell it. Makes a nice profit. 
Alright, well, let's plant these flowers. Uh, there's a good place.